So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range. More often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something like that. And talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foots in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevail the wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the house. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Chosen one. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. So Herb Dean, third man Ready in there fight. for this one. Ready. Do right it. now the southpaw stance. Clean punch right there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. There. Wow, huge head kick. Rips the body there. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big knee there. Oh, nice straight left. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful jab lands. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Just misses there with the left. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Whiffs on that offering. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking the shots. Oh, this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Body shot. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go in any fight. Trading huge shot. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Overhand left. Oh, there he is, came with the seminal focus. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. That knee might have landed there. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he 